Hey guys, it's Bob, and welcome to Modern Life for the 70s Mind and Bob's Cabinet of Curiosities. For those of you who have seen my channel before, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. For those of you who are new and haven't seen this before, if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and click the notification icon so you're notified of any time I release some new content and you'll be up to date on everything that I put out. What we do here on the Cabinet of Curiosities is just kind of take a look back on older things, uh, things that you may not have, never have heard of before, or maybe things that you have but you just haven't even thought of for years. And that's my job, is to kind of take a look back and show you some stuff that I always found rather interesting, or maybe not interesting at the time, but now, 50 years later, I do find it interesting. So today we are going to be talking about SNH green stamps. Um, SNH green stamps were started really way back in the late 1800s by a company called Sperry and Hutchinson, and that's the phrase thus SNH green stamps. It was part of a re rewards program. And during the 60s, the company promoted its rewards, rewards catalog as being the largest publication in the U.S. And it issued three times the amount of stamps that the United States Postal Service did. So these guys were kind of big time. The catalogs were, man, I likened them to like the Christmas Sears Christmas catalog or the J.C. Penney Christmas catalog. I think the Sears was kind of the gold standard, wasn't it, back in the day when we got Christmas catalogs? And um, basically what would you would do, you would go into a store, and it could be gas stations, department stores, uh, supermarkets. I think that's basically where we got ours was supermarkets. And depending on how much money you spent, you would get these stamps. And you would then get a book, and you would take the stamps and put them in the book. And when the book was filled, you could then go to this catalog and pick out gifts based on how many stamps you had collected. So... Um, it was kind of a fun thing to do. It was estimated that 80% of American households collected stamps during the heyday. And I think the, the peak was probably mid-60s, I think is when SNH Green Stamps started. So I want to show you my SNH Green Stamps book. So here it is. Um, and this is, I think, what they all look like. I don't think they, there was any different uh, for, variations of them. I think this was pretty much the design. And I'll open it up so you can see it. This one's pretty well full. Got to be a little careful with it because it's uh, rather fragile. So you can see you would take the stamps and you would just put them in this book. And I had the best time as a, as a young kid uh, just going through the books and putting the stamps in them. I know when we got back from the grocery store, the first thing I would do is grab the stamps and find the book and then put the stamps in the book. I can't really remember anything we bought from the catalog. I know we did, but nothing comes to mind as what some examples of things that um, we would have bought. But they were a lot of fun, and I know a lot of households, like I said, had these. And I remember these even being a comp topic of conversation when I was in grade school. We would talk about who had the most s &H green stamps, and uh, they were they were really fun, and we enjoyed them. The company that uh, made these actually kept going for a lot of years and I think they rebranded themselves to SNH Green Points but in 2020 which wasn't that long ago we all remember 2020 um, they they closed down so and I think somebody might have bought the rights to the name but off the top of my head I can't think what the name of it is but it doesn't have green in the word because uh, they went from green stamps to green points and now there's the green is totally gone. But anyway, so SNH Green Stamps. This is the Quick Saver book. They were a lot of fun. And um, just these little things growing up that I remember and I always enjoyed. Okay, guys, if you have stories about SNH Green Stamps, please make note in the comment below. And I love reading that kind of stuff. And we can just kind of share old stories, which is fun. All right, if you enjoyed this and you like my content, like I said before, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also click that notification icon. That would be awesome. All right, guys, you have a great day. Peace out. I will talk to you guys soon.